Hey you guys, blessed you. You are here with another high rated DB matchup. Before I get started, I want to give a couple quick shout out to my sponsors. Shout out to Midwest Gaming, Pandemonium Gaming, and TDT Gaming. I, ha I should have a link to all three below in my description. Uh, Midwest Gaming has the best deck profiles from all the online tournaments on their Facebook page, so be sure to check that out. As well as having an eBay affiliate link. Um, Midwest Gaming has a nice TCG play link where they have tons and tons of singles for a very great price. And you can also check out TDT Gaming for their accessories. Uh, for all you guild community or even mid magic gathering Pokemon any card game accessories you, you should need they should have for you guys All right with that being said, I'm just gonna jump right to the matchup today uh, I have world RPO with a rating of 664 versus flame and ice with a rating of 1397 so we're just gonna jump right into the matchup uh, We're gonna see world wins the dice roll And he's gonna opt to go first Nothing nothing pretty much unusual there uh, he opens a pretty good open hand. He opens Zodiac Barrage, uh, Ice Dragon's Prison, uh, Fire Formation Tanky, Curse Eldland, and Ram Ram. So he opens three zoos. Um, you would have rather had this Tanky be. Um, you, you probably would have rather had this Tanky be a. Uh, uh, L Expeller Trap. Uh, probably along with the Barrage, too. Like, you don't really want to open multiples of these cards. Just one is good enough, and that's why I like the cards really good, because one does enough. Uh, his opponent opens Double Desires, Tactics, uh, Qinglong, and GG. So he opens well, but like not the best. It's not like City Lulu, right? So he's going to take you all back to get Thoroughblade, because he's going to try to net him more cards. He doesn't need all these zoo cards in his hand, so he's going to try to start recycling cards. Especially with Gamma falling out of a format, and a lot of more people play, just playing cards like Droll a lot. Uh, so he normal some stir blade discards the ram and he draws a bunny blast so like his zoo count has to be like super super high to be playing all these cards uh, which is probably why he's getting punished so heavily by drawing them all um i don't see how you have room for like bunny blast in your zoo deck uh yeah i wouldn't be playing that card uh, so he makes hammer con makes shotgun Chuck Nine is going to bring it back to Ram. That's going to make Dryden. Uh, he, he's just using Ram as a wall. Uh, Cursed Eldland. He's going to search. Let's see what he searches. Gets a Conquistador. He's going to activate Brosh. Brosh pop Eldland. Special Whiptail, Elden Sun Lord, over a Tiger Mortar, Tiger Mortar effect, special back to Whiptail, put that on a Dryden 2, just trying to make his Dryden really, really big. Ten Lord effects and Tanky. So he would have lost like really, really bad to like Nibiru here. Like, I don't think this was like a really, really good opening play. Um, like the whole point of like Zoo Eldritch, right? is to use your resources and just like stretch the game out as long as you can but like you're using all your gas turn one like like you're trying to wall up against like pretty much nothing because like you, it's game one you don't know what you're going up against so like usually a prison a lord and a dry and you didn't even set the conk though so like what was the point of summon lord if you didn't set conk this turns out over though so yeah, there he goes. He set the comp. At least he set the comp. Thank God. Uh, so he drew Loud Loud for turn, which is really good. And this Desires is going to resolve here. Let's check what he banished. I want to see. He op uh, He banished the Talents, Nibiru, Ash, Gamma, Kalba, Lili. It's one city, one Chuchi. And one, two, two cities. And he still does play Driver too. I mean, he still does play Gamma. Uh, so yeah, that was a pretty good banish. He wished he would have banished more desires. I'm just assuming he plays three. He draws Nibiru Ash, which he didn't want to draw. He really wanted more virtual world names. Uh, Nibiru's kind of late at this point. Kind of blew all his cards there his first turn. Uh, but he can go like activate Ching Long. Uh, activate. GG 
target Ching Long, and he, like Dryden pops Ching Long, and Gigi stays in hand. Um, and then he gets talents to draw two more cards, and he can still normal GG Lao Lao. Okay, he's definitely gonna Ching Law. Yep, he's gonna go GG first. Yep, Dryden's gonna pop that, and then you can talents and draw two. Uh, you're gonna search your Lulu first, obviously. But I say, I, I, if I'm gonna use talents to draw two. I'm definitely going to draw before I search, so I can search whatever I don't draw. Like, you get that? Like, he's all, he, he also could just be, like, searching to, you know, um, he could be searching to, uh, to Decton before he draws so he doesn't draw more Lulu. Oh, and he's just taking dry. He's going to dry and banish Lord. Gonna activate Conk, he's gonna pop pump Dryden. Um if I was him, I would have just chained Dryden to the Conk and detach Thoroughblade. Actually, I'm not sure how it's rule anymore. I haven't had something like that come up in a long time. Why take like your monster on board that has a once per turn effect, and if I haven't used it, like can I still use it? Cause like if he could have used Dryden, he could Dryden conk pop the thorough. I mean, he could have Dryden pop the conk thorough blade, and then the test thorough blade, and this still banishes this, and that way he loses conk and lord. But if it doesn't work that way, I mean, that's just how it happened. But he should still be able to play. So he's going to normal the GG. Uh, Lulu effect. He's going to make Bamboos and Gossip, Gossip Shadow. He's going to make Zeus. And he's gonna juice the whole board. He's gonna scoop because uh, he's gonna end up juice VFD. All right, game two. So we see he opens Elvis, the Golden Lord, Hakero, Sanguine, Ram Ram, Gozbel. This is a lot better open hand. A lot better, harder to pump with this hand too. Um, so you can just go normal Ram. Literally, just go. Hammer Kong Dragon. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. Uh, and then you normal ram, hammer Kong Dragon, set to pass. Like that's all you have to do. Oh Lord. Oh, I thought it was actually Oh he did it. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, there we go, y'all. He did it. He know the combo. He know the combo this time. Now, this time he doesn't want to get punished by Nibiru, so he plays correctly this time, I see. He opens Talons, Dark Roller No More, Chuchi, Lao Lao, Nian, and Talons again. Um, so, if he wants his Talons to resolve, right? I don't think I'm gonna activate Dark Ruler, but like, I need this knee into. I mean, I need this Lala to resolve, right? So, well, I, this can just get con popped anyway on my on my Lala effect. So, do we not Dark Ruler here? So yeah, I don't think I actually Dark Ruler here just to try to bait him into using Dryden to draw more cards. Because right now, Nia and Lala is just not going to get through, through Dryden and a Conk. Like, if this is how... Oh, this is Hakira. Okay, it's Hakira. It's not Conk. Okay, so actually, actually, you can just Dark Ruler. Norman Nia and then Lao Lao. And then he has to Scarlet. Um, 
He has to Scarlet Lala. Well, actually, he can go spell Lala. He can just, yeah, he can just go spell Lala. If he does that, then you get the talents. So, yeah, I think you do Dark Ruler this. Yep. And he does. Uh, he's going to normal summon in. He's going to go La La effect. Oh, he's going to go Battle Phase first. Which is fine. And he's going to go La La effect that eats the Ghost Bell. And then here, I'm like a thousand percent sure you draw two more cards. Oh, he drew the city. You love to see it. He drew the city. It's going to set Tushi. Pass turn. I just gonna end phase Sanguine just to get lured out and burn the Sanguine effect that turn so he can start recycling it. Draws Tinky for turn, which is really good. Like that, those are the kind of top decks you want with like the Elder Zoo. Uh, you really want to draw like Zoo cards for turn so you have like optimal plays for the next turn. Because now you have like a pop, a board wipe, like you have a bunch of stuff you can do just because you drew a Zoo monster. And like your Hakiros are live right now too. Like you're you're in a good spot right now. So he's gonna go tanky, that should get the ram, yes sir. Normal the ram ski. It's gonna make the boar guy. Make the chalk. Chalk gonna get your dryden back. That should make tiger mortar. Yes sir, tiger mortar put ram under dryden. Yes sir, he's playing correctly. Oh, you love to see it. And he should take 500 from the tiger mortar. Hey, you remember it. Love to see it. Uh, main phase 2 Zeus. Depending on how many Zeus I play, I don't think I, I summon Zeus there. Or you go Sanguine to get the Conk. So you have Akiro, Conk, and Zeus Dryden. So I think your opponent gets Zeus. Actually, no, he has Dark Ruler still. So, like, your Akiro and your Conk are fine. Those are still going to be live. And you know your opponent's not killing you if you Dark Rulers you. It's gonna go Kwalun for Ching Long. I think he has a target here for Ching Long too. Yeah, he can banish uh he can banish whatchamacallit. He can banish the city and then go Ching Long, target Dryden. He's gonna comp pop the Ching Long. So actually like I think um if I can't pop this Ching Long, right, I might as well, I might as well Hakiro it, to be honest. But it's kind of wild, like your Hakiro is not resolving anymore because of, oh, actually, he's nasty, he could have been really nasty, right? So he could have went, when he Ching Long and he banished for cost. Oh no, it wasn't banished yet. Okay, it wasn't banished. Never mind, never mind. I was going to say, when he Ching Long, he banished for cause. He could have chained the Choo Choo to put back the cards he banished to pop the con to the con so Ching Long resolved, but Ching Long got banished because he used his effective search. So just forget everything I just said. He's going to go get his Rota. And he's going to send Choo Choo. Now he's going to go Dark Ruler. Now he can Choo Choo break the whole board. Chuchi should be popping Zeus, but I wouldn't shuffle anything back yet. I'd just save it for his trap cards. Uh, yeah, he should just have full combo right now, because Lulu's going to search GG. So he has a follow-up for next turn. Like, that's the best part about GG. I love follow-ups. And, like, this can just... No, he can never Hakira because he has Chuchi live. So like at this point, if I'm my opponent, I'm sitting there and I'm just wondering like, where did I go wrong for him to do all this or did he just open really, really well? That's another reason I think Zoo Elich just isn't enough right now too because like, you only get so many turns right now in modern Yu Gi Oh. Excuse me. Like, it's a very consistent deck, and it, it does its job at grinding very well. 
Uh, but you have to play correctly at it, like every single point of the game, uh, for one. And a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh players just don't do that. And then uh, two, you, you have to your opponent has to not open super powerful because if they open super powerful and you open just like average or optimal, like you're you're definitely losing that game. But like in other scenarios with other decks, like sometimes you wouldn't lose those games. You know what I mean? Like majority of the time you are losing, but like. I like to play decks where, like, sometimes you can just squeeze out those small percentages of wins. Because those are the games that, like, you steal and it pushes you over the bubble for, like, a YCS or something. So he's just going to make VFD pass. And his opponent just can't beat that. Uh, not with this deck. Especially not with the cards he has at his resources. He has one Lord in hand, one Tinky on board. One Hikara on grave. He's already used two Zeus. His, yeah, his Zeus is banished. Like, he, he's down so many cards right here. Uh, VFD beat down could just win the rest of the game. He's gonna VFD call light. Smart man, yeah, just flame and I just wins. Uh, Zeus just got demolished here. I don't know if it was the player or, or just the deck, like I said, but um, it just looks like it's just not keeping up right now with Virtual World and and Drytrons, uh, even like uh, Dogmatica invoked um, stuff like that. Like I don't know. I, I like the invoke cards. I think Alistair's a really good dual with summon. <sighs> Any normal summon that gets you to negate off one card and replace it itself, it's like, it's pretty good. <laughs> like, you can't deny it just because you don't like the engine. Like, it, it's pretty good. Um, That's pretty much it, you guys. You guys be, make sure to vote on what deck you guys want me to play against DB Grinder. Um, Make sure you guys check out his channel as well and vote with vote over there on what you guys want him to play against me. It should be a very fun series. Uh, our first match should be be uploaded on. We'll figure out whose channel it is. And we'll probably be like the winner gets to upload the first video on the channel. We'll probably do something like that. Um, so if I win, uh, I'll probably I'll, I'll tell him that. If I win, I'll upload on my channel. If he wins, we upload the first video on his channel, and then we'll just swap off a uh, swap off a uh, whoever wins right there. Um, that's pretty much it, you guys. Bless you, Gil. Signing out. Peace. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe like always, you guys.